Okay, okay, okay. Now, welcome to my session. We will be doing the previous session, right? And I uh, introduce myself as Mr. Joseph. Is it? Yes. Uh, then today, um, I want us to do a session, and uh, we are going to look at the occupier of the workplace. But before we, before then, I remember during our previous session, we did something concerning the safety measurement and regulation, right? Yes. And uh, I left on a thing. Is it done? Yes. Everybody has done it since uh, I am expecting to go with it after this session. So now let us tackle the require of our workplace. Maybe I understand some, somebody might be asked to move an occupier, right? So we want to define because I expect by the end of this session we will be able to define who is an occupier in our workplace. And I also expect you to be in a position to tell me the duties of this person we are calling occupier. Occupy. So, anybody who is with the definition of uh, occupy, just quickly. Uh, an occupier means the person, mm -hmm. person. or persons mm -hmm. in the actual uh, occupation of a workplace, whether as the owner mm -hmm. or not. A uh, person or person in an actual occupation of a work, either he is the owner. Or he is not the owner. Have you understood the meaning of this person we are calling occupier? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, having understood that, maybe now you'll be able to handle or to understand the duties now of this person we are calling occupier. And I believe. Some of you have ever been into a workplace, but maybe you're not familiar with this person, or maybe you are familiar with, but you never knew whether he is called occupier, and also maybe you never knew of his duties. So quickly, we are going to look at the duties of an occupier in a workplace, and. Uh, I'll give you one, one duty, then I'll do something briefly because I want to engage you in this activity or in this session. I'll give somebody this chalk and uh, whoever I give the chalk will give us uh, one duty, one of the fire, then after you're done, you proceed or you choose a student of your choice. <coughs> then after you, you choose, you take us to another point and then you continue the same to uh, other aspects. Uh, so one duty of an occupier is to ensure or to provide, to provide maintenance of procedures Provide maintenance of procedures that are to be followed in our space. Right? So, somebody who will understand how to go about the procedure, please. Would you leave us on the, the point I was just mentioned? First point. I would say as an occupier, mm -hmm. he's in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge, yes. Right. He, he, he's in charge of maintaining those policies, those mesh, measures, so as to ensure that the 
company or an organization is running smoothly without, without occurrence <coughs> of accident, therefore the safety, the safety and the health of the workers is well taken care of. So, as I mentioned, that I said we participate. So, hey, yeah. <coughs> They carry out assessment mm -hmm. in relation to health and safety. Very, very correct. They carry out the assessment. Remember, health and safety is a very crucial part of running uh, of an organization. So an occupier has an, an obligation to carry out the as assessment so as to ensure that Everything is in order as far as the safety and health of the workers is concerned. Because not you can choose them. Take us another point. Um another point is to be able to check the DOC provide provide provisions of the plan. Provision of the plan. Provision of the plan? Yes. Yeah. Provide the plan on how things will be done. Then on all that. Within a work, work setting. Because anything, to, for anything to run correctly, there must be a well planned strategy. So it is the duty of this person we are calling occupier to ensure that the, every plan is in, in place or everything is well planned. Another person, fifty. Another point to that he or she should provide instruction of information on how to handle the Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have said it's very correct. It is an obligation or a duty to this person to provide instructions and information to every employee in our setting. So that given an, an, an accident or something happened within an organization, we never say that you are not from the occupier would have already instructed you on maybe the measures, the steps and also how to how to carry yourself, right? Another person to give us a it is also the duty of an occupier to send uh, an assessment report mm -hmm. that is the to the occupation and safety health officer in that organization. Yeah, very well. Thank you, thank you for participating. Yeah, it is a, a duty of an occupier having done the assessment concerning the safety and health issues within an organization. He should send the report to the area health and safety occupation officer concerning the, the same of the assessment. So I believe now you are well familiar with the occupier in our workplace and also you know the duties he is entitled to perform. Among many others, among many others, I expect you to also do a thorough study of the same and come up with even more duties because I understand they are more. Maybe Anybody that has the occasion up to that part? No question? Yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How is an occupier, occupier identified in an organization? Is it selected or is it a, are they employed? He is not selected. He is employed. Because remember he is dealing with a critical, very critical issue. That is the safety and health. So, for you to be employed as an occupier, you must be familiar with those issues.
issues concerning the safety and health issues. So I understand up to that far you are well set concerning this. So maybe in conclusion, I want to give you an assignment very quickly. Write it down. We discuss the powers of an occupier. In our case. Do that assignment, then we will meet in another session.